Hello, and welcome to our O365 video on freezing top rows or freezing panes. In most Excel documents, we are going to have headers. Um, the nice thing about the headers is they identify the data that's in each column. If we scroll down, the problem with this is as we scroll down, all of a sudden those headers are gone, and we're left trying to guess what 548741 is, 512023 third year and A means. Now, since we know this is a grade book, we probably can guess that this is the student ID, this is their graduation date, year they are, and their letter grade. But if we had a bunch of dates, you know, let's say we were in a warehousing situation where we were purchase date, order date, uh, received date, payment date, you know, you got four or five different dates, keeping track of those can be confusing. And so what we often want to do is freeze that top row so as we scroll down, it would keep the information there. This is super simple to do. We're going to highlight the top row, say that's the row we want to. We're going to click our View menu, Freeze Panes, and we're going to say Freeze the top row. And you can see that it puts this line in here. And now when we scroll down, that top row stays with us, making it super simple for us to identify that this is the student number, this is their graduation date, standing and, and grade. And again, most commonly used when there are many, many columns. Not that big a deal when there's only five columns, but the tool and the skill exist the same. Now, sometimes, unfreeze those panes. Sometimes we have multiple uh, rows up top that we want to freeze. And so I'm going to just say student records, right? Make this a nice header. Cool. So we have this student records header with their grades and stuff. And we want when we scroll down, we want both the student records and obviously more importantly, we want the first name, last name, student number. To do this, we want to freeze multiple rows or a pane. To do that, you need to select the row below the first row that you that you want to keep. And so we want to keep row two. So we're going to select row three. We're going to come up and click view. We're going to click freeze panes and freeze panes. And that will freeze, you can see it puts the line between row two and three, and that'll freeze both row one and two. And so now when we scroll down, the student record row exists, but also our header still exists. And so it allows us when there are multiple different rows of data that we need to freeze so that we can scroll down and keep track of, you know, student number, graduation date, or whatever the column header may be, you can freeze multiple rows. Again, all of this is under the view option, freeze panes. You can freeze panes or freeze the top row, and that will allow you to keep those frozen so when you scroll down, you keep your headers. Thank you very much.